Hey guys, welcome back to Tractor Tip Tuesday. Let's talk about a hidden feature here on your tractor. So you see right here on the end of my tractor, we have all these wires coming in here. And if you look at your tractor, you have a wire like this. And I don't know if you can see that very well, but uh, this wire here is not connected to anything. It's just a bare exposed wire that uh, from the factory they had a little piece of, uh, of tape wrapped around it and it was zip tied up with the other bundle of wires. Now the assumption is this is something for a higher model tractor, which in some cases is going to be true. That maybe if you had, if you paid for certain upgrades, maybe if you bought a cab on your tractor, that would have been the case. But most of the time, actually, if you look at those wiring harnesses, they're actually pre-wired for different attachments on your tractor. In this case, this specific wire here is actually wired up for more lights. And so when we want to run more lights here, all I got to do is drop a wire down the inside of my roll bar here, and it comes right out at that same spot. I splice it into that, and I now have working lights up on the top of the tractor. I don't have to run any more lights. I don't have to try to tap into the, uh, to the wiring harness or to the fuse box. It's already done for me from the factory. So if you look at your tractor, go around and check. I've got several places on here. They're switched differently. So this already is tied into my, to my light switch. So I turn on the light switch, and that's going to turn on. I don't have to wire in a separate switch. Um, you are going to probably have something similar on your tractor. Now, like I said, it may be a dead line that's, that's used in a wiring harness for a different feature that you don't have, and in which case it's not going to be connected on either end. Use it for whatever you want. But in a lot of cases, it is just this hidden wire that is here uh, that is tied in specifically to lights. It's a big one, um, and having something that you can control or maybe a switch on the dash uh, that, is, that is not fully wired up, and, uh, but it's tied into the fuse box. Uh, a switch for something that maybe maybe a newer tractor has a separate set of hydraulics that uses a switch for it and an a, a electronic diverter valve, something along those lines that you can then tap into. So check the wiring, see how it's, how it's wired up. It's worth the time to trace those back so that we don't have to run wires, we don't have to try to tie into the wiring harness, and, or we don't have ugly wires hanging around everywhere. Uh, this has already run in a place that's safe, so it's not going to get beat up too much. Uh, this makes it really easy. Like I said, we just drop the line down the uh, down the rocks, and now we've got good power to our lights. So thanks again for watching, guys. Really appreciate this. Hope this tip helped you out. If you have tips that you'd like to see on Tractor Tip Tuesday, please post it down in the description, uh, or I'm sorry, down in the comments below. Uh, we love hearing about your guys' ideas, what you want to see. Uh, we'll see y'all next week on Tractor Tip Tuesday.